Hmm. Hi, this is Matthew with RetroEdge.Tech, and in my last video, I talked about the Alacrity Terminal Emulator, and I made the statement that its configuration file was straightforward. Um, I've run into some weird issues uh, in my video that I did last time. I had kind of this whole section of my script, my bootstrapping script, disappear while I was doing the video, and I was pretty confused about it uh, in the video. If you watch my last video, you can kind of see that. Um, and essentially what happened is this whole section here um, uh, just disappeared in Vim while I was in the Alacrity terminal emulator, while I was talking about Alacrity um, in my bootstrapping scripts. Um, and that was just really strange and odd. And so I figured out after I did the video that essentially a character was being inserted into the Alacrity terminal um, when it wouldn't have been in the GNOME terminal. So right now I have three windows open. I have a GNOME terminal, an Alacrity terminal, and then an Alacrity terminal with Vim. So I just kind of show you this behavior. Um, it shows up when I press Control Alt in an arrow key. And I have that set up as a shortcut to be able to switch between workspaces. So I'll, I'll do that. Um, I'll press that con uh, key, so Control Alt, left arrow, and then it'll go to my other workspace. And here I have um, other workspace up with the browser and the Alacrity um, uh, default configuration file. And so in that default configuration file, everything's commented out. And I've gone through and I've been able to uncomment some things and get the Alacrity terminal to do some things. And But I'll press Control Alt, right arrow to go back. And you'll notice because I was in this Alacrity window that uh, the character C has appeared. And if I do Control Alt uh, right arrow again, and then Control Alt left arrow to come back to that workspace, you see that the character capital D has appeared in the Alacrity terminal. I think this is some kind of key binding for inserting characters maybe in some kind of Vim mode. But what's confusing is I have essentially the default configuration file with almost everything commented out, and it does that. So just to compare, I'll now go to my GNOME terminal emulator in, in that tile, and I'll, um, you know, control alt right arrow to go to a different workspace, control alt left arrow, um, and you can see that the D character is not inserted. In the same way, if I go the other direction, the D character is not inserted in the GNOME terminal. But if I do that same thing in the Alacrity terminal, you can see that it inserts these characters. And in my video the other day, um, I, I was in this in uh, looking at my script and trying to pull it up and talk about it. And I was going to be talking about uh, this part here and then adding a function. And then so what I did, though, is um, I had switched more workspaces. I'll switch the workspaces and then I'll switch back. And you can see that it's now in insert mode. And that stuff, that, that whole kind of section there that I was working on uh, has disappeared. And then if I press U in Vim to, for undo, it, it brings that back. But when I was doing the live video, I was like, hey, that whole section is gone. I'm confused. That isn't the right. Well, in Alacrity, it's inserting these characters with my shortcut keys for switching back and forth. So this is kind of an interesting thing. So terminal uh, terminal emulators, I'm thinking about switching to a different one, running into these configuration issues. Also with the tiling window manager, I'm having shortcut keys that um, I get to set, but some of them may have unintended consequences or overlaps. And if I don't understand the configuration fully, I can run into some problems uh, with it not behaving as I expect it to. So these are welcome challenges for me, but um, I guess these are the challenges that come with building out your own desktop environment. You can think of um, 
the window manager that I'm using is BSPWM, and it's a tiling window manager, and you get to set your own shortcut keys in another program, but, and that's really powerful and great and cool, but if those keyboard shortcuts overlap with another program that you're using and you don't know how to configure that other program, Alacrity Terminal Emulator in this case, it can be complicated and confusing and frustrating, such as when text just disappears in Vim. Ooh, it's gone. That's a really weird side effect. And I have no idea how to solve it right now. So if you do, uh, please comment and tell me what's going on. Uh, I have, I, I, I'm guessing, you. so again, I'm pressing Control, Alt, uh, right arrow, and then I guess to come back, it's Control, Alt, left arrow, which must be, uh, Control, Alt, left arrow, must be inserting that capital D character somehow in Alacrity, but it doesn't appear to be set in the Alacrity, um, configuration file that I have, but I have been able to set, you know, things like text size, uh, the padding or around the inside of the window and the transparency. You can see I've got um, some transparency going through the Alacrity windows, uh, but not through the GNOME terminal. So I've been able to set those things, but all of the other configurations seems blank but it does this weird thing with inserting that character. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for me, please do comment. Uh, thank you so much for your tips and for any feedback that you can give me. I appreciate it. Bye for now.